Again, sir, I really can't make this decision for you. Eight foot or four foot? That's just a tough call. As has been established by our, I'm gonna guess, seven minute conversation? How far is the Blu-ray player from the TV? That's, I'd say it's between three and seven feet. So. Sounds like the eight would be perfect. But mother hates clutter. What if there's too much cable sticking out? That would be an issue for sure. <laughs> Sounds like you've met mother. Yeah. Now, if I get the four foot and it's just, it's not a enough, where would I be? Fine. You'd be fine. The earth would continue spinning and society would continue to deteriorate. Listen, we have a 48-hour return policy. Just buy both. This is a pickle. No! No, it's not. Attention, deal world shoppers. For the next 30 minutes, all dongles are half off. <laughs> I found you! I have a deal for you. 100% off your life. Ah, oh, shit. Yo, Mr. C. How they hanging, bro? Well, I was in the middle of a scintillating conversation about HDMI cables. Now I have to deal with Santeroid out there. So, to answer your question, Tice, they are not hanging well. Clifford, there is a muscular Christmas-themed madman wreaking havoc in customer service on the PA system out there. What have I told you about bringing your hobbies to work? Well, it's not really a hobby, Leslie. I'm just a single dad trying to raise his daughter while also being locked in a life-or-death battle with a myriad of creatures trying to absorb my Christmas powers as they kill their way to the top to gain control of the throne. I told you all this when I interviewed for this job. It's not a lifestyle choice. Because of work regulations, I'm not allowed to comment on a worker's lifestyle choices, wanted or otherwise, but keep it outside. Where did you scurry off to, little mouse? Come out here and let the cat play. For you see, in this scenario, <laughs> I'm the cat. Oh my god. I think my daughter wants to talk about sex. The last thing I want to do. Just keep it out of the office, Cliff. My daughter's blossoming sexuality isn't a hobby either, Leslie. You better get us some condoms, Mr. C. Oh, and I got some pamphlets about HPV that she might find very informative. As usual, the fountain of knowledge doth overflow with you two. Get out here, or I start knocking down the cardboard displays. Clifford, I get that you're an immortal being, but please take it outside. Always outside! Never inside! And for the record, I didn't ask for any of this, Leslie. I'm gonna go on my lunch break. And don't, and don't worry, when I'm done, I'll have the sex talk with you too. Clifford! Oh, snap, dog! He just drew parallels between his daughter's situation and you. Basically implying you're a virgin that don't know how to work your ticking balls. Both of you get back to the warehouse unless you're cruising for a formal write-up. Well, are you? And how's that going to look in your bi-monthly review? Because you get a couple of those, and pretty soon, you got a warning on your hands. Well, well, well. Look who has emerged from their hiding place. I hope you don't have any plans today, because I'm filling up your to-do list with slaughter. Uh, hello? Can you hear me? Oh, I'm talking to you, Clifford. What was that about? Is he hard of hearing? I guess, should I go outside? I'm going outside. <laughs> Pick up! Where the hell are you, Jingles? It's just work, baby. They don't want me 24-7. Where were we? Ah, yeah. Right about here. I don't know what sort of game you're playing, but prepare to have a merry death Uh, Yeah, I know. Yes, uh, well, you won't be so smug once you're Feliz Navidad. Navidad. Listen, I've heard all the Christmas-themed death threats. I wrote half of them. I'm about to commit a ho, ho, ho homicide. homicide. Look, we don't have to do this. I don't want the job. Just go find the next Santa on your list and let's call it a day. Your apathy doesn't change the fact that there's only room for one successor. I must kill you to rightfully claim the sleigh. I must kill you. Blah, blah, blah. I'm so sick of this shit. Well, let me fix that by terminating you and your daughter. 
What? She has nothing to do with all this. Ugh. Fine. Let's make this quick, all right? I have to restock the extension cords. Wait a second, where's your little helper? Why do I always forget about the little helper? Maybe it's because mine always forgets about me. Ah, yeah. Frickin' jingles. Get ready for season's beatings. beatings. That's just annoying now. Yeah, welcome to my life, ass face. Heinrich! Get to the chopper! My god, Hal. You were right all along. Decapitation. Julie, contact the factory and halt production of the giant working chainsaw billboard immediately. And start shredding everything! to stretch before I consume souls. Listen, man, you, you don't have to do this. I, I had to help him. You know the rules. No worries, man. Just another day in paradise. You're not going to kill Heinrich? Mm, why? I think the warehouse at Deal World is hiring. I mean, it's not as exciting as helping murder immortal beings, but I mean, it's got dental. Clifford! I am so sorry, Leslie. I almost forgot. When a man loves a woman... And they want to make babies. Those doors are coming out of your paycheck like hardcore, mister, until they are paid off. I'm talking like five bucks a week because I, I am not playing around. Leslie, you're tough, but fair. I am. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to leave early today so I can go think about what I've done. You're damn right you are. And to make sure something like this doesn't happen again, I'm taking tomorrow off. Seems only fair, but, but tough. It is. Now get out of here. And I don't want to see you here tomorrow. -la 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 -la. I'll call you if I find that earring, Brittany. It's Bethany, silly. I'm sure it is. Hey, Brittany? It's Bethany. Oh, is that why you couldn't be bothered to come to my aid today, Jingles? You look fine to me. Well, that is not the point. You're supposed to be my little helper. Little is hurtful, man. I get to use that word, not you. <sighs> All right, well, you know, at, at any rate, you're supposed to be more available. I have a daughter to take care of, man. Your problem is you're too wound up. You need to go out with me. I met this flight attendant. She has a friend. Nope, not again. So if you have streaming? I mean, there's really no need for cable these days, so you, you can just cobble together streaming channels with your favorite things on them. I mean, it's, it's a crazy time we live in these days. It's great, crazy time. Crazy, crazy time. <sighs> so, who's ready for dessert? I'll deal with you later. I have a date with Destiny. You know Destiny? Tell her I found her boot. Hey, Bell. Did you get my text, Dad? <sighs> no, on your mark, get set, or go. Anything, huh? Uh, hold on a sec, dear. Uh, okay, how do we do this? Um, I guess I can start by saying it's nothing to be ashamed of or embarrassed by. <laughs> it's perfectly natural. No, I really don't think it is. It's called sex, dear. Hot, passionate sex. And it's when a man and a woman feel things moving around in their no-no zone. Sex? Oh, God. No, Dad, I know you're not nearly emotionally strong enough to handle that. Besides, I've been on the pill for two years now. Oh, thank God. So, it's cool if I keep treating you like... An asexual robot instead of an actual human with any sort of sex drive. Yes, that. It would probably be better for everyone that way. Love you, sweetie. Love you too, Dad. Okay, so what is it you wanted to talk about? This. It appeared yesterday. Shit. 
Once the man is aroused sexually, what happens is his penis will become engorged with blood like a balloon full of blood. That's too much exposed cable, Donald. Uh, I'm sorry, Mother. I'll fix everything. P please don't be mad. You must be punished, Donald. This sort of HDMI cable sloppiness is unacceptable. <laughs> 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 